time for yet another New England IPA that's not brewed in New England. This time we have one from Tonewood Brewing out of Oakland, New Jersey, USA. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them? We have Fuego. Fuego is a New England IPA. As I suggested, it's year-round serving of clocks in 6.2% ABV and between 30 and 70 IBUs for the style. They don't tell us. But they do tell us for hops in this, they use Citra and Mosaic. Now, I found this beer in a liquor store that was way off the beaten path of one called Clayton Liquors which is, I think, Clayton, New Jersey. And my buddy Raj hooked me up with this. Raj, thanks a million. If you guys are around, Clayton Liquors in New Jersey. It's right off the uh, Jersey Turnpike. Can't remember the exit number. I think it was like exit two or something like that. Then you got to go back and into the country to kind of find it. He has a really, really great growler section and really cool selection of beers. And I'll let you know the other ones that I bought there when I review them. So... Anywho, time to stop flapping my gums, crack the top on this bad boy, get in the glass, and tell you what's up with Fuego from Tonewood Brewing. Ah, nice crack on the top. Oh, I can smell this, the hops wafting from here, man. I've been busting my hump today. I have earned this brew. Woo, cloudy and hazy going into the glass. That's right. I think we've got cloudy with a chance of hazy today. Yeah. Anywho, let's talk about the appearance of this beer. It is a really hazy sort of golden amber orange color a little bit of burnt orange notes going on it but there's more gold and yellow than there is orange um, we had a solid finger head on this beer it's gone down to a half finger when i swirl it yeah we're actually getting a little bit tiny bit of alcohol legs and you know what if we let this head build up and we swirl a little bit we might get some glass lacing i'm not sure but take a look at that that looks like a lovely new england ipa in the glass hazy and delicious that's how i like them dirty but you know what they got to smell good too so let's see what's up with the aroma Woo, big citrus rind, grapefruit, orange, some lemony notes in there as well. A nice, nice dank tone coming up in the back end as the head recedes even more. Not a hint of alcohol, some papaya and mango. Some of that peppery mango skin I always get out of uh, beers that have mosaic driving in them. Some grassy herbaceousness and pine, yum. A little bit of a basil note, what's not to like? Let's dive in. Thanks a million, Raj. Cheers! Mmm, damn, that's crushable. Mmm. Yum. Oh, nice glass lacing. Right up in front, you get punched with a big kick of grapefruit citrus. After that, you got some orange zest going on. That peppery mango is in there, definitely playing big time. That herbaceous basil tone as well. Alcohol, 6.2, completely hidden. This is a complete crusher of a beer. Very low perceptible bitterness, dry back end. It's true to the New England style. Now, as New England styles go, this is a, it's juicy. You're getting juicy citrus notes and there's tropical juicy notes in there as well. However, it's not a big juice bomb. This is more of the ilk of the danker, hop forward kind of New England IPA. You get ones that are on the super juicy end of the spectrum, and then you get ones that are more juicy with a little bit of that West West Coast kind of bitterness and stuff in there, but the difference is the bitterness isn't in the back end, and it's not building. Let me take another taste, and we'll pass great on this. Mm. Citrus for days. Nice bitterness, putting in check the uh, sweetness that's in the malt, and then boom, then it goes away. It's it's easy to drink, and you could crush a six-pack of these like nothing. So, let's grade it. Beer Advocate gives it an 87 B-plus range. You, Untapped has given this 4.05 caps, which is definitely the A range. I'm going 94 on this as well. Yeah, I'm going to go 95. It's definitely an A-level level beer. I've had New England IPAs. I've liked a little bit more, but there's not really many holes in this. I could go with a little more citrus presence, maybe a little more dankness, but for what it is, it's a really tasty beer, well-made, and it's a six-pack worthy kind of beer. This is probably, I guess, one of their flagships or something. I don't know a whole lot about the brewery and I, because I haven't really drank that much New Jersey beer, but this one's a winner. So, have you had Fuego from Tonewood Brewing? If you have, let me know what you know, because I like the quid pro quo and <laughs> back and forth. I also really like it when you think locally drink locally and support the craft beer movement and it is exceedingly cool when you rate comment subscribe especially if this is your first time with us and get down to it and smash that like button because that along with one maybe two cans of fuego is all i'm gonna need to put my big ass happy face on so to the next dj for two i got nothing but a hell of a bunch of fuego drinking love for you and you know what's coming that's right a big ass peace out